My name is Sara Lisa Ludvigsson and I come from a small town called Karlstad in Sweden, one of the Scandinavian countries. And I work as a floral designer uh, and have been, I've been doing this for, for ages, I think. And I used to work as a floral design teacher for approximately 15 years, but since one and a half year ago I am a freelancer. So I basically travel the world doing demonstrations and workshops and um, classes, teaching. So I am having a very, very, I'm lucky that I can live of my passion. So when do you start the floral art and floral design art? Floral tree. Yeah, when I when I started to work with flowers. Yeah, yeah. yeah, actually, my mother and father told me that when I was five years old, I was out picking flowers and I put a table outside our apartment and sold flowers to our neighbors. <laughs> you yes. are yes, five years old. Yes, five years old. But then when I was about. 14 years old, I started to, to go to practice during weekends just because I thought it was fun in a flower shop. And then I started to work extra like Christmas and holidays. And when I was 16, I think, I went to flower school and studied for three years. Wow. And then in a shop and then as a teacher. So how long? Oh. Now? Then you how need. Uh, yeah, but then I have yeah. to tell you how, how old I am. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, about yeah, yeah. that would be 25 years approximately. But I would say 20. Yeah, yeah 20. I would 20. say. Wow. Yeah. So please, uh, you previous talk to me. Yeah. Please tell me about your the these day activities. My these day activities. Oh, here at EPM. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I have been here at EPM to have uh, flower shows together with my great colleagues. Uh, for uh, our organization called uh, Flora Fundamentals and we have been on stage doing uh, the theme was basically wedding uh, but we could of course do different wedding designs like uh, bridals or proposal bouquet uh, we also did some table decoration and some auto decoration so it's been a lot of fun and a lot of stress and a lot of work but that's the way it is, Flores for Life. I think everyone that works with flower knows it's a hard job, but in the same time, I would not change it for anything else because I love what I do. Yeah, this time, uh, except the EPM, yeah. the, the last year. Yeah. Please let me know your the activities. It's like, so how about your last year? Yeah, last year I was here and I was giving a small demonstration in a booth. Uh, you know, meeting people, networking, and also get inspired by other designers because that is also part of, of, uh, of, of progressing. You also need to meet other designers to exchange ideas, techniques, colors and also having fun together. That's very important. Okay. Yeah. To meet people that share the same passion. Yeah. Please uh, let me know your the personal opinion about the Swedish floral culture. The, the Swedish flower country, I would say, to be honest, uh, flowers in Sweden are very expensive. Yeah, very expensive. Both because of the transportation cost, because we have four seasons. That means we can't uh, we can't grow flowers during winter time. Uh, and if we do, we, we grow them in greenhouses, and it's very expensive to to heat up and lighten up. So flower, flowers is expensive, and that means that. I would say that, that Swedish flower designers have a high respect for the material. That means that we are, we are studying the flower to see the movement and the shape and the color to get the most out of it because the most value, instead of just putting a lot of flowers into it, we see how can we get the best out of every flower. And a lot of inspiration from nature, I think. Yeah. Okay. Who inspires you? For the floor design. I would say one of my biggest inspiration source, of course I have a lot of, of different uh, inspiration because there are a lot of good florists out there, but still there is one person who inspires me a lot and that was actually one of my first bosses because she believed in me, she pushed me forward and she also, when I started to work for her, she was actually quite old. <laughs> But she was still one of the persons that was one of the best floral designers in my region. 
So she, she inspires me to never stop, stop to progress. Always try to think new, always try to, to find new ideas, and that you're never too old to be creative. And that inspires me, that I can still, even if I've been in this business for 20 years, I can still progress, I can still develop, and I can still be curious, curious about my, my, my um, profession. And that, for me, is very important not to, you know, settle. And she inspires me a lot. She's, today, she is 75 years old, and she still sometimes do floristry. And I want to be like that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then? Uh, except uh, flowers, what do you do the normal, ordinary days? Oh, is there anything else than flowers? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I enjoy. I I live. Uh, I am very very lucky and blessed. I lived uh, in a house close to a lake. I can see the lake from my my window, uh, and uh, I like to take a swim. Of course, not in the winter because then it would be cold. But also ice skating and also a lot of fishing. I enjoy uh, and both with boat and from land. And during winter, go ice fishing. Uh, and walk the dog and spend time with my friends. Oh, That's lake? important. Yeah. How big is the lake? Oh, just that lake is not that big. It's uh, I can see to the other side. Oh. Yeah, but I live nearby the biggest lake in Sweden, actually. So when you are on that lake, you can't see the other side, and it's actually called an, an ocean. Yeah, oh, okay. but it's sweet water. Okay. What is your best happy moment with flowers? Oh my! Best happy moment. Yeah, my best happy moment is. When, when I got a challenge that I didn't really, you know, think that I would, would manage to do, and then I struggled a lot, and then it turned out to be a really good design. When I look at, at one design and who made this? Oh, I did. That that's a happy moment. But also for me, a happy moment uh, was I, I used to work uh, as a teacher and that school was going to close. And I thought that, okay, what's next for me? Because nobody wants me anymore, they don't know what I do. And then I started, and that was really hard for me, I started to publish some of my designs on social medias, and I was really, really afraid of what other people would think. Because at that moment, I cared more about what other people would think. Uh, but then something happened. Uh, I realized that I actually like my design myself and other people did as well. So for me it was a happy moment when I realized that there is a place for me in the floral designer world. To be a part of a, of a profession with people that loves flowers and floristry the most just as much as I do. For me that was a happy moment to, to rediscover my profession, mm -hmm. to have a, a, a flower family. Okay. Yeah. And then, if you have, what is your best hard time? Yeah, you I, I think it was when, when the school closed, because I, was, <laughs> I really liked my job. I really, really liked, I loved to work <laughs> with the students, I loved to teach, and it was sad because I kind of lost my identity. Who am I if I'm not teaching at this special school? Uh, so that was really hard time, but in the end it turned out that probably that was the best thing that happened to me because I was maybe too much into my comfort zone. So when I stopped school, there was a whole new world opening for me. So today, I'm actually, the worst moment turned into to be one of the best moments. Because a lot of people supported me and, and believed in me. So in the end, I think it was good for me that the school stopped. But at that moment, that was terrible. Yeah. Okay. What is Sararisa's style? What is that? Oh, I would say that right now, it's uh, actually quite romantic, I would say. Very natural and, yeah, yeah. and, and light. Yeah. And I didn't used to be that. I, I think I changed a lot. And for me, it's important to change. Of course, I want to have like a special brand. But in the same time, I don't want to be the, 
do the same designs in five years because I want to develop and I want to, to, to see new materials and try new techniques. But right now I would say that it's romantic, natural romantic, I would say. So yeah. if you have some... Ah, what is your favorite color and flowers? Oh, right now I would say like powder pink, a little bit dusty, oh. yeah, yeah. Soft colors, a little bit gray, a little bit uh, peach, coral. I, I, I work a lot with those kind of colors right now. Yeah. And yeah. how about the flowers? Huh? Sorry? Flowers. Oh, the flowers. Oh, I'm, I'm a seasonal girl, just oh, like many, yeah. many floral designers are. But I think, especially in Sweden, when we have very, very clear the four seasons. So for me, it's very important to work with seasonal flowers, both because of the environmental thinking. It's not good for our nature when we are growing um, some of the products that normally is in bloom in autumn and we, we have them in summer instead because it takes so much energy and so much things to grow those flowers. So I prefer to work, work with seasonal flowers. Ah, yeah, flowers. and right now the spring season starts. Ah, yeah. so yes. that's especially flower, but all So flowers. right now anemones yeah. and, uh, and uh, lachirus is coming up and all the, the different uh, flowers with fragrance, I would say, yeah. And then, please, advice to the young florist. Uh, best advice to the young florist, I would say, believe in yourself and work hard, but still don't let people take advantage of you and try your best. And when you fail, because you will fail, don't quit, get back on the horse and try again. Because sometimes when you fail, it doesn't mean that you don't know it, it means that you don't know it yet. So you just need to practice more. So don't be afraid to practice and also take advice from other people that is into floristry that could give you advices and get a mentor. It's a good, it's a good advice. Yeah. Wow. I'm very stressed. Oh. And then, this is, uh, how, what do you think about the competition? competition? Yeah, competition for me is very important. Uh, some floral designers, and, and when you work in, because to be honest, to run a shop today, it's hard. And then sometimes you might think, competitions, why? I can't earn any money in competition. But for me, it's very important because that is where we see the new trends, the, the new way of working. We, we can see how to, to um, develop new, more environmental friendly techniques and materials. And also, it's, sometimes I compare it to, to the catwalk in Paris, you know, haute couture. Some of the clothes, they are not so, they're cool, but they are not so easy to wear and they're very expensive. But I can't afford to buy them. And most of them, you know, it's very strange clothes sometimes. But I get inspired of them. And then I can get details, like uh, the fabric or some pattern or some cutting. And then I buy them in, in uh, normal shops. And for me, sometimes floristry in competition, it's hot couture on the catwalk. That is not for, it's not what we're going to sell in our shop. But we can take details from it and we can transform it into suitable uh, commercial designs. So for me it's very important because competition is taking our profession forwards. And it also helps me to get motivated. Okay, this is our last request. Yeah. Uh, please uh, tell us the Congress later in the speech to the 10th anniversary of the magazine. Yeah. I would love to do because I think that Leaf magazine is a fantastic uh, magazine. Uh, of course, I wish I could read Korean, but I can't. But I can look at the pictures and I can also get explanation from other one who can read Korean. And what I like with, uh, with Leaf is that they cover the whole world of floristry. Not only one country, they travel the world and they are helping everyone in the floral design industry to develop and spread the passion and love about our, our, uh, our flower world. So for me, it's a big congratulation 
and good luck in the future to Leaf magazine. I enjoy your newspaper a lot. Small hearts. Yeah. <laughs>